Welcome back to the channel, you big bass lovers. It's DeMont coming back at you again. Well, I did something stupid. I tore my right bicep tendon. I viced the crap out. That's why it's a little really light color compared to what it was. And my right bicep is kind of deflated. <laughs> Fun times. Um, I'm going to have to learn how to cast a little bit with my, my left hand. Um... Like my buddy right yep fishing um so let's get in some stuff i've got order from hookup tackle in let's go over some stuff i got from there recently um and i also want to show you about another place if you ain't shopping there you're missing out on some really good deals Mm, excuse me. Yeah. Oh, my shoulder. Of course, you yeah, have some roller balls, so I got some range rollers. I call them roller balls. I don't know why I call them that. Range rollers. Got several packs of that. Um, I've been interested in looking at these a lot lately. It's the uh, little Nissan drop shot minnows. They feel kind of really stretchy. I think it's because they don't have no. I don't think they are. That's just salt on the outside. I don't think I don't think they're elastic, but I don't think they don't have that much salt in them. I think these little drop shot minnows will work really good with a range roller. I don't really think they're thick enough now that I look at them to put a hover shot in. Now you could probably put a standard hover rig in, like the standard hover hook, like your little hover shot hook with the uh, nail weight towards the bottom of it to make it wobble right. I got several colors of that in, and I got Malamar Minnow 3.5. By OSP. This is different than I thought it was going to be. Let me see if I can get it open. I can't exert my right arm too much or it'll turn back black and purple on me. <laughs> I did I did this the stupidest of ways. I was bowling. And um, I had a hard time getting my hook to stay on the lane right because I bowled with a really big hook. So I was lofting the ball. I was lofting the ball about six or seven foot. And I was throwing a 16 pound purple hammer for you guys to know about bowling. It's a urethane ball. And on like the seventh shot, I was had a really good game going. When I lofted the ball, it seemed like it caught my thumb and it just yanked my whole arm forward. And when it yanked my whole arm forward, I felt a big bang inside my bicep. And I had no power in my right hand anymore. Yeah, it was not fun. So here it is. It feels like it's kind of hollow. Pretty sure it's hollow. Doesn't really have a scent to it, but it has like that mylar strip in it. I think this will be really good on a range roller. Um, it looks like it has a, a little opening, it does. It has like a little opening in the butt right here. So, I mean, you could add scent to it. Um, 
I'm pretty sure it's just a hollow body and it's just a little opening for it. There's probably other stuff you could probably do it as well. But let's go ahead and get on with it. All right, so then I got some of these. Okay, I've already showed you that. I already showed you that. I got, excuse me, you guys have seen the little sweeper on a, another, the bigger size on one of my other videos. And uh, they didn't have some of my favorite colors in the smaller size when I ordered before, but they had the, my favorite colors back in this time in the little sweeper. Um, this little thing is very neat, and even the bigger size is very neat. I think I showed you before. This is by Ray Japan. It has, you can grab the corner right, I'm sorry. Let's get one out to show you. It has the tiniest little bitty flake little paddle tail but it's a really like fine flutter action. It's kind of like the Jean LaRoche ad that I showed you before. And it has like little flip, little fins. Um, it's a hollow body. It has the same kind of little cavity in the butt as the other one has. Um, but this works really good on the range roller. I uh, also like to use this on uh, the Vike Tungsten little uh, propeller spin that I showed you before. It works really good as a tiny little spy bait, kind of like that Gene LaRoe. You can also use the Mega Bass, the Majora Head, with a little spinner. All right, now let's go to the next little stuff I got in here. All right, so we got the bottom up fish, frish, frish, 3.5, frish. And this also has a little tiny little boot tail. Mm. I have never used these before. But they look really good. Oh, yeah. Now, I think this one's solid. Yes, yeah, solid. But it's really soft. Let's see if you can see that little boot tail in it really good. The tiniest, tiny little boot tail. So, I like for little things like this to kind of like have a little bit of difference to them. Like this right here, I'm pretty sure I could use it multiple different ways. It'll work really good on a range roller. It'll work really good on that Vikes tungsten I told you about. It'll work really good drop shot and it'll work really good hover rig. Um, and even, <laughs> all the stuff I'm just saying, I was looking and it's like showing it right here on the bag. And I'll show it to you, give me one second. Let me, let me get it back in here. Clean up, bottom up is what it says. Back here on the back, clean up, bottom up. This is the bottom up fish, the fresh 3.5. And it shows you right there, <laughs> ball, drop shot, and a hover rig. <laughs> That's, the hover rig they have in there is kind of a little bit different. It's got more of a, a swim bay appeal to it. But I got several freshes and some different colors to try out. That's just more Mylar minnows. That's more raid they put. I don't know why they didn't put this stuff kind of in the right spot, but whatever. I'll put it together. Um, I've been wanting to try these. Uh, I haven't tried them yet. This is the Dulive SS Guild 3.6. Um, I want this. I love, well, I like flat, this flat kind of side of baits on my like, free rig, but I also think this is going to work really good. I don't know how, how easy it's gonna be to tear, but I think it's gonna work really good on the Ozark rig. Oh yeah, it's gonna work. If I just use this on the free rig, ooh, that, it's got that nice squid smell. Take a look at that, guys. 
But if I was to turn it over and use that flat side, either way, it's very wide and flat on both sides. Yeah, that's that works. That's gonna work really good on a free on a free rig. Also work really good on the Ozark rig. I mean, this right hand is <laughs> this right arm mess is kind of stinks. I spent almost all day. I went and got some uh, a gazebo yesterday. I'm trying to find something to give my dogs more shade in my front yard, and I went and got it at Big Lots. And then I brought my son with me. My son's a strong little guy, but the ladies at Big Lots could not really help me get it up in there. So I just basically said, okay, fuck it. Uh, I grabbed a hold of it and put it up in there and it cramped up so bad. I feel like I was punching myself in the jaw. I was like, Ugh! and then I had to like push my arm back out to get the cramp out. And as soon as I took my, my hand off my arm, my whole arm was black. I was like, that's nice. And then, um, I remember loading the other box for it, the other box for the gazebo. I just used my left hand, and the ladies, like, they were uh, they were on the one side. Me and my other son was on the other side. There was three of them on the other side, and when I picked up the other side, was my left hand. It was like, it was, my, my one left hand was better than all three of the women on the other side because they about dropped the other box as well. Um, but, yeah, guys, um, torn biceps sucks. It this is not as bad. I've had a torn bicep before. It's one of my 27 surgeries. Um, my torn bicep before, the whole bicep broke free and was up here. And this whole area was flat. But I could tell as soon as that popped, that bang, I was like, oh, hell. This is not as bad as a tear as it was before, but it still fucking sucks. And I got to be careful that I don't finish tearing it off. That's just more of the same. That's just... Okay, so that's... Everything that was in that box is just different colors. Different colors, same thing. All right, so... Next thing I want to show you... You guys... You guys start checking out Ollie's. Um, you get coupons from... Like, I had a 20% uh, off my whole order. And I was getting stuff like... Tokyo rigs for a dollar forty nine. I can't make them this cheap. A lot of times I make my own, but I can't make them this cheap. And they had the ones I like. They had the um, these are the more expensive ones. This is I don't know why it says compare at three ninety nine because they're not three ninety nine. I know the Land Big Fish has the um, the heavy duty wide gap hooks for a dollar. I think $1.99 or something like that on clearance. But this is the Nico rig, the Nico hook, I mean. I got them in two off and one off. Um, and I got a bunch of packs of them because I was like, okay, um, I, I like them. And then they had the um, the HD flipping one. I got that in three off, four off. I got a bunch of packs of each one of those. I didn't get the, I don't like the white. I've never really liked a wide gap hook. I, mean, I like it for throwing on a, a fluke, but sometimes I don't even throw it on a fluke. I use a, a Gamakatsu hybrid hook or a um, owner a J hook just because I don't like the gap potential of the, the line tie to gap. Because it, it makes me, if, the line, if your line tie is sitting even with your gap, when that fish gets it, it has a good chance if you don't, hit it right, it just slides right off. It doesn't have a chance to put pressure in between to make that plastic bend down to get that point. And I've had that happen more than once. So that's why I've kind of strayed away from wide gaps. Um, they had uh, Elite Series Chatterbaits, $3.99. I got white, bluegill, and green pumpkin. Um, and the bad thing was I had my wife with me, and I told her, I said, I don't really need no more baits. I'm not going to go and look into fishing. I lied. She was laughing her ass off at me. 
talking to my younger son. He just said he don't need no more bass. Look at what he's getting. And I'm like, oh, shut up. Um, but I mean, to get Elite Series Chatter Bass 399, then 20% off of everything in my bag, it's kind of, and she had a lot of stuff in here too, so yeah. I want to try these on hover rigs. It's the live target. Um, the Twitch Minnow. I'm pretty sure they're solid. But these were $3.99. And I know they're a lot more expensive you buy them from other places. You only get three. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, they're very rubbery smelling. Yeah, these are going to have to go in some bait fuel. Yeah. Damn. But it looks like it even has holes already marked for your... No, that goes all the way through. But you could use those holes, line those holes up for your hover rig. Yeah, I think this will work really good. It's got to go in the... Ugh. Yeah, it's got to go in some bait fuel. Mm. I mean, I don't mind the smell of, like, most fish additives, but that plasticky smell, it stinks. It smells like some... And the bad thing is, a lot of, a lot of your really good swim baits smell like that when you get them. They have a very small, very, very strong rubber smell. They also have little spankies, $1.50. I mean, I, I love a little spanky. Little spankies, little swim baits, they're good. Um, I've been thinking about trying these for a little while. It's called the Flex Worm by NetBank. They were $1.99. I got a couple different colors of that. I got the Key Lime Pie, a few others. I got, this they have a live target, Chatterbaits. Um, this is the Delta Crawl. You don't need to see all the same stuff over and over again. Uh, they had uh, Jabber Jaws, $5.99, I mean $4.99. Um, I got several different colors of these. And they got 20% off, so I got them for basically for $3.99 or so. Whatever that works out to be, I don't know. I ain't doing the math on it right now, guys, I'm sorry. Um... They also had some uh, Magic Man for five four ninety nine. I got two colors. I got the purple one and the red one. Um, more Tokyo rigs. Just want to see if there's anything else unique in here. Jabber Jaw. See, I got this Jabber Jaw and this Jabber Jaw. Uh, anything else? Well, I got uh, Twitch Shads or Super Twitch, $1.99. I got several colors of that. Which NetBait, NetBait's always made some really good stuff. Little Spankies. Yeah, this, everything else is just Tokyo rigs. There's another. I got a Warthog. I want to try those uh, Chartreuse and Blackback. This is the only square build I haven't really tried yet, as far as like the, the main square builds out there. I haven't tried a Warhawk. So we'll see what it's about. And that's just all the same plastics. Um, little spanky. But I mean, I got a whole big bag full of stuff. If I would have bought this stuff, I came home last night not last night, on Friday night. And uh, I I spent, including her stuff, was over, it was a little over $200 with her stuff in there. And she had about, she had about 60 or $70 worth of stuff in there. So basically I spent $130 on all this, maybe. 
and that's with taxes. Uh, and I put all this stuff in the cart, and I ran. I was just trying to see if I what kind of value I got from it, and I put all that stuff in my cart. Oh, I put all that stuff in my cart, and after I was like looking through it, and I if I'd have bought this stuff from like Tackle Warehouse, it was like three twenty seven. If I bought this stuff from um, from Land Big Fish, it was like three oh nine. And if I bought it from Omni, it was a little bit cheap. It was a little bit cheaper than uh, Land Big Fish. It was three oh eight. So, regardless, um, I spent less on this. I spent like half price on this compared to if he bought it online. So. I'm good with that. Just thought I'd show you that, that to you guys. I know I showed my cousin that. Uh, he's in South Carolina. He, uh, he's about four or five hours away from me. He fishes tournaments and stuff as well. And he, never, he never thought about going to Ollie's to get fishing gear. And uh, I told him about it, and he's like, man, you, you got to be kidding me. This is back when they had uh, Sammy's. They had Sammy's and Whopper Ploppers. And uh, Sammy back then... Um, I think you were getting Sammy's for five ninety nine. Now I think Lucky Craft is six ninety nine now, seven dollars now to get Lucky Craft there, and they have genuine Lucky Craft. Um, and um, they had Sammy's, they had Whopper Ploppers, they had something else. The Whopper Ploppers were like four ninety nine. So he was like, "Man, you gotta be kidding me!" So he went down there to he went to Greenville, he went to Simpsonville, he went <laughs> to Spartanburg. He went to every olives he could find and cleared them out. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't go that crazy with it. I could. I don't. Um, so, give your local olives a try and see what kind of fishing gear they have in. They're always getting more and more stuff like this. Um, got a headache. Sorry, guys. Uh, you're not going to find really any place better to buy if you're looking for i mean they're not going to have usually your staples in there they, they have they had some uh good braided line when i was in there while the other day and they also had some decent fluorocarbon there for once and usually the only thing they have is floor fluorocarbon coated or copolymer um but they actually had some decent fluorocarbon in there the other day um i was thinking about getting that getting some of those spools too but i didn't want to my wife was already looking at me funny, so I didn't want to. I didn't want to be sleeping in the doghouse. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I'll list this stuff from the hookup tackle down below. Um, I can't really list this stuff on Ollie's, but I showed you what it was. Um, give Ollie's a try. Just stop in, see what they got. I can't guarantee that every Ollie's has the same thing because they don't. And I can't guarantee you, you ain't got a local guy like me is coming there like taking all the good deals. Um, I can't help it. A good deal to me is like crack. I just don't get skinny from it. Um, anyway, you guys, if this was helpful for you, give me a thumbs up. Um, yeah, I got to start working on my left-hand casting so I can try to get, get better with it because it's coming. I can't... <laughs> I'm not supposed to do any kind of snap movements or any kind of like ranging movements with this. I'm supposed to keep it kind of close and tight to my body. Uh, I'm supposed to be wearing a sling. I don't listen very well. Um, and that's it. All right, guys. So next time, y'all stay safe. Like and subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm going to be giving away the GH100. I'm going to do another video on that tomorrow. Um, how you win is just basically subscribing, like subscribing, how you win, you have to be a subscriber to the channel and you have to comment on the video and then all the comments, I'm going to take the random comment and I'm going to give that reel away. All right, guys, till tomorrow, y'all stay safe. All right, guys.